Potentially hazardous pollutants are floating in Alabama's rivers. And environmentalists say it's bad enough eating some fish from state waterways could be dangerous. Now those environmentalists are headed to the state legislature to bring more attention to the issue. They say more transparency is needed to keep people safe. WSFA 12 News reporter Brady Talbert has the warning new tonight at 10. Alabama's rivers can be a serene place to boat and fish, but experts say some serious dangers could be lurking in the water. When people are consuming fish, um, they may be unknowingly exposing themselves to harmful contaminants, neuro neurotoxins, known carcinogens. Abby Brown works with the Coosa River Keeper, a group dedicated to preserving and protecting the Coosa River. She says multiple industries pollute our state's waterways, creating a real problem for families consuming fish as their key source of protein. Now she's at the Alabama State House to encourage lawmakers to pass the Shore Act. It's legislation to make people aware. You have the right to know what food you're bringing home to your family. The act would require signs like this one to be posted around every public boat ramp and fishing spots. The signs would outline fish in the area that have an active consumption advisory. It's kind of like a buyer beware. It's okay if you are a sports fisherman, you can go out there, catch the biggest fish and mount it on the trophy and that's fine. But we don't want people consuming fish. The act would also require companies to post similar signs in the areas they pollute, require the state to share consumption advisories through its fishing license program and create a fish consumption advisory panel. Environmentalists will tell you polluted waterways can affect multiple communities across the state of Alabama. For example, this is the Alabama River. It connects to multiple rivers, including the Coosa River, meaning contaminants can easily spread across multiple counties. In Alabama, our state motto is we dare to defend our rights and we have the right to know what's in our waterways. And what substances could be making people sick. Brady Talbert, WSFA 12 News. The Shore Act will go before a Senate committee on Wednesday for the first time. We'll keep you posted on the bill's progress.